Do travel victims desperately wait for help in Kilkele village in Kenya's Wajia County. Thousands of pastoral dropouts have set up camps along the roads to seek help from passing vehicles and aid groups, including Rukia Ahmed. She is preparing black tea for her children. We have nothing else to cook now. We are here to get help, NGOs or people passing by. Kenyan authorities say the failure of a sixth consecutive rainy season has decimated millions of livestock and left over 5 million Kenyans in need of humanitarian assistance. More than half of those affected are in three counties in Kenya's northeast, Garissa, Wajia and Mandera. Leaders from the region have been appealing to the president to declare the drought a national disaster, but they say their appeal is not being heard. Every time we meet, we say declare. And the president has been uh, I mean, uh, promising, while up to now we are still waiting for the president to declare drought as a disaster. If the government declares the drought a national disaster, local leaders say people can get the international aid they desperately need. Because it is a disaster. People are unable to find food. Livestock are dying by the dozens every day. I think it's time the government declared it a national disaster so that we could have gotten some aid from outside. VOA called the president chief of staff for comment, but he did not return the calls. Kenyan President William Ruto last week considered the drought situation is critical and promised more aid to the affected areas. The worsening drought situation requires us to urgently scale up response, especially interventions to avert widespread distress and suffering. Ruto said the national government has spent more than $250 million on drought intervention programs since September 2021 and has allocated additional funds from the supplementary budget. In the latest supplementary budget, we have set aside an additional 6 billion shillings for drought response intervention for the period between February and May 2023. Back at the camp, some help arrived. The Kenya Red Cross distributed food, but only to a few households. If these communities are not helped anytime soon, the situation is daring. The food need is really in crisis. Yesterday we have visited one, one few of the camps around here. Some are people from other areas like Warad, they come in to look for food they dear. People are running under any vehicle they see. Meanwhile, drought victims like Rukia Ahmed have little, if anything, left, except hope that food aid will come soon. Ahmed Hussein for VOA News, Wajia, Kenya.